Questions still loom over the sudden resignation of D60's former superintendent. Dr. Constance Jones held that position for nearly two years before suddenly stepping down without giving a reason. Tonight, Pueblo parents want to know why some of them not happy with the lack of information. Cardio News Channel 13's Greg Miller is live at D60. Greg, some passionate people there. Yeah, Heather, parents, teachers, even just observers who came by to hear about this coalition, they're all asking the same question tonight. What happened? What led to that sudden resignation of Dr. Constance Jones? When is the school board going to accept responsibility for its failed leadership in a flawed process? While most here weren't so accusatory, many just want to know why. It's scary. It really is that they feel they have the power to do this behind closed doors without our input. Jane Poyer's son goes to a D60 high school, and she says even he doesn't like the upheaval. The kids like her. The teachers like her. She was moving us forward. Her concerns, a looming state takeover, rumors that some board members may be putting political interests over educating kids. And that resignation by Dr. Constance Jones last week, one page, very short, Jones saying she was finished. My opinion, she was shoved out the door. But with that being said, I believe they have somebody in mind that they want in here. While others here defend the board. Why churn up the whole community and, and, and turn them against the people we just got elected. They would all like some answers. No administrators from D60 ever came out to address the crowd, and we still have calls in for a response to this gathering, leaving those people with more questions. A newly formed coalition organized in front of the administration building asking for clarity. We elected our school board. Um, so they represent our best interest, and we want to know what that interest is moving forward in their eyes. Now, Charlotte Macaluso was appointed acting superintendent by the board last Friday. She is currently the district's executive director of improvement and innovation. She will fulfill that position until an interim superintendent is found. And as soon as we hear more from D60, we'll pass it along to you. We're live in Pueblo tonight. Greg Miller, KRDO News Channel 13. Greg, thanks so much. Some change.